Let's move on and let's now welcome on board uh, Shikhar Agarwal, the joint MD at BLS International to talk about how their quarterly um, you know, numbers have been and what the visibility is going forward. Shikhar, hi, morning. You know, I'm just looking at your numbers and your margins have seen an improvement, I guess, owing to the renewal of contracts and the you know, addition of new agreements as well. Um, uh, and, you know, it's gone past that 20% mark as well in FI24. What's your overall guidance then for FI25? Do you think these kind of margins can sustain throughout the year? See, if you see the revenue that we've achieved uh, in this year, you know, we've achieved a revenue around 1,678 crores, which is uh, an increase from last year and EBITDA level. You know, we've achieved a bit of 345 crores, which is a 56% growth, uh, you know, compared to similar year, uh, you know, last year. So, you know, this has been uh, due to a variety of factors. Definitely, uh, our EBITDA margins have gone up. You know, if you see our EBITDA margins are crossed 20% level, we have grown by 600 basis points this year, uh, which I think is a good growth. But definitely going forward, uh, you know, we would like to maintain and even surpass this growth. You know, there are a variety of reasons for that. A uh, couple of reasons are that in uh, some countries where laws have changed in Gulf countries uh, like Saudi Arabia, etc., where we are now allowed to operate 100% on our own. We have taken over, uh, you know, the premises and we are operating 100% on our own. So definitely margins have increased. Like that, six, seven, eight other countries where we had some local partners, we have shifted to our own model now. So that is the reason that margins are increasing. And going forward, I expect, uh, you know, the margins uh, not only to maintain, but even grow further. And the uh, results you will uh, see of the margin increase from coming quarters, from the first quarter itself. Okay, fair enough. Um, I wanted to also touch upon then what the outlook is when it comes to uh, the overall passenger travel um, internationally, what the demand trends are in terms of inquiries for visas as we're stepping to the summer season in terms of higher realizations. Will this translate into higher realizations for you for Q1 largely due to this? See, definitely, first of all, uh, you know, over the last few years, uh, if you see last year, we renewed our, uh, we re-won our Spanish global tender. We won few contracts from Slovakia, Germany, Italy, Poland, Czech. Uh, you know, we also uh, won another big tender with the Indian government in Canada. So all of this has been at higher charges now. Uh, so definitely margins will increase because of that. Per application, more revenue is uh, going to come in. And traffic after COVID has really increased in countries that are fully opened up. You know, certain countries like China and Russia still, uh, you know, Russia still has not opened up properly. China has opened, I would say, 70%. So still there is an increase in volume possible in the coming years. And for us, you know, uh, we are always, uh, you know, we have created a new technology, new appointment booking system to get more people to reduce no-shows. So definitely we will see an increase in both traffic as well as increase in revenue per application from our existing contracts and the new contracts that we have won and deployed revenue should start coming in. We recently announced winning a Portugal contract in Morocco. So I would say that this year also looks uh, good for BLS International. Okay, this year is also looking good. And what about your cash balance? That's at about 1100 odd crores. Uh, how will you be deploying this? Is it going to be more inorganic opportunities? And if so, which are the segments that you're looking at? See, we already announced uh, the, that you've signed a definitive agreement to acquire a, a company called iData. And, you know, there is some uh, pending formalities. A majority of this cash will be utilized in that and also this cash includes the money from e-services you know we recently ipo'd uh, the e-services and we got around 300 crores of cash so that money will be utilized in the growth of e-services you know and acquisition further acquisitions under e-services the 300 odd crores technology investments and other things and the cash on bls international will be utilized for acquisition and also for the growth you know the new contracts that we have won we have to deploy additional infrastructure across the world we are changing our offices expanding so definitely the cash will be utilized in that and then Going forward, if there are more acquisition opportunities, we will be open to look at them as well. Interesting. The other thing I wanted to understand was, um, you know, the kind of uh, synergies and revenue petition, uh, you know, potential that you see from your IDATA uh, acquisition. See, in 2022, the last 
audited numbers that I have of that company, we did a revenue of 20 million euros in iData and 10.5 million euros of EBITDA. So definitely that will be added in our books. There has been certain growth in the coming years. And, uh, you know, as we uh, acquire the companies, there will be economies of scales, operation costs will go down. We will share our expenses, our manpower. Uh, definitely we will also add in certain value from our experience of working in a global environment as a regional player. Uh, so definitely revenues and profitability will further increase. So whatever we achieve in BLS International, you know, uh, uh, whatever uh, numbers we get from iData will be an add-on uh, to our numbers. Uh, so definitely we see a good revenue potential from this acquisition as well. Tell me about BLS e-services because, you know, that's posted a bit of a muted set this time around. Uh, what is the visibility that you have for the next three to five years? See, BLSE services also, this year we did a revenue of 309 crores, a 25% increase than last year, and an EBITDA of 49.9 crores, around 50 crores of EBITDA. So EBITDA grew around 37% uh, compared to last year. So definitely there has been a big growth in BLSE services as well. And uh, we IPO'd the company in January. Uh, you know, we have seen a major increase uh, in contracts from different PSUs. We've added a lot of public sector banks. We've added a lot of private sector banks as well, HDFC. You know, you start lead generation for loan dispersal you know we disperse around 500 crores of loan last month itself so that revenue has just started to come in so definitely there's a big increase coming in from that e-governance sector also we see a big increase further we are the linking of acquisitions in this you know we've shortlisted a few companies we will be using our ipo money for that so we see major growth coming in bls e-services the india story is quite big uh, you know our network has reached to one lakh touch points now across india in bls e-services and around thousand bls so definitely revenue has started to increase. Our margins are also increasing in that business. Right now we're doing a bit of margin of 16 odd percent. There has been a growth from last year. We expect further growth coming in both margins and revenue to grow uh, from that business exponentially in the coming years. For taking time out and joining in and giving us a view as to how overall business is shaping up. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.